But I, I, I guess EG just outplayed it. Very, very well done. Oh, yeah, scrap that. But that was a, a good heads up play by Broken Blade. A bit greedy from, uh, from EG, I think, to overextend this play, but uh, still nice heads up play. Oh, exhaust clean. Danny. Hello and welcome to another G2 reaction. I've been reading your comments and I'm going to give G2 a shot. I'm going to change my perspective and be more lenient towards them. So we're going to see them face off against evil geniuses. And so far looking at this draft here, um, I think G2 just wins all around the board. Impact has a good matchup there in top in the isolated uh, 1v1, but the 2v2 top is not that great. Also 5v5s are hard. I think EG, EG again, like, yeah, well played here. Nice gank by uh, Jankos, a bit weird impact flashes there that late. Obviously the, I think Q from uh, the monkey uh, is not able to be flashed. But yeah, my point is, I think EG, they're a bit stuck uh, in the past with some of their champions. I think G2 is really well put together, like their fighting style, their scrappy style, that really fits with uh, their comp. They can really fight well around top side, flagged here. So far has shown great performances on the Kaiser. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's the right combo. You start with E, you don't want to QE. Um, that gives impact more uh, time to go away. Yep. And I think, yeah, he just dies here. Uh, nice call from uh, G2 to punish that uh, rather greedy recall there. Good, good. Okay. Rift Herald. Ooh! I mean, steals are 50 50, that's luck based, but. Okay, yeah. But this fight, obviously, um, yeah. If you compare, like, power at uh, at this point here, um, it is a bit too expected that G2 wins this. Impact at this point is still not there yet in terms of scaling. Wukong with his ultimate, way more impact than inspired, who didn't even get to ult. And also, obviously, Caps versus uh, Arise here is not that. Okay, that's going to be a 2v1 there, but I think, yeah, he's still too tanky and... I mean, oh, if they dive, but that could be punished. That could be... Oh, it cuts away, so... There's no punish. Oh, good play. Oh! Well played combo. Maybe Yankos could have flash ulted to save uh, Caps, but very well comboed there from Inspired. Dargamas again. Yeah, that's not your side of the jungle, but uh, good for him, he gets away. Oh, Inspired versus Jankos. Inspired, what are you doing? You you don't win this. Yeah, even if he's a level down, Wukong is giga strong against um, Lee Sin on a 1v1. But yeah, with a 2v2 uh, caps, you're... Um, not sure if Danny needed to flash exhaust there, but yeah. In the end, it worked out very well punished there from uh, from EG. Caps, uh, I mean, yeah, he wanted to save his teammate and then he was kind of stuck in the play. So, EG electing for 5v5 is, is a bit weird, but I guess, I guess it can work if they have set up. But overall, engaging into, or like moving forward into G2's comp is really, really difficult, especially for EG who has not that high range, not that much engage, so. I, I, I guess it's... Ooh! Good reaction. But I, I, I guess EG just outplayed it. Very, very well done. Oh. Yeah, scrap that. But that was a a good heads up play by Broken Blade. A bit greedy from uh, from EG, I think, to overextend this play, but... Uh, still, nice heads up play. Oh. Exhaust clean. Danny. Yo! I mean, things like that are a bit uh, huh? iffy, but yo, very, very nice. EG, I mean, they're going head to head with G2. I mean, so far, Orn is a ticking time bomb, as is many, many other pieces of G2. But uh, I mean, at least the early and mid game now so far have been going well for EG. Like, giving another Drake? I mean, like, they are as a teamfight comp are also obviously fine. Oh, Vulcan. Mm. Yeah, I guess that's that's just a, hmm, a random move. Not really something to say. That's uh, another 
turret up trade for G2, getting a more worthwhile one, but again, we see EG just collect three drakes. I'm not sure why, like, G2 is... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, I mean, let, let's see this play out, but wait. Oh, that's a good one. Bit early, a uh, bit late uh, exhaust there on to flag it, but I think would have never mattered. Here we see uh, obviously G2 has immense punishing potential, but I want to see that that first place there. Like what? A am I now toxic again? If I ask what is Vulcan doing here? Like, if you look at the minimap, let me make it a bit bigger. So if you look at the minimap, we can obviously see that uh, they have an absolute line of vision here. Um, you can't see my curse anymore. Why? But you see the amount of wards. They control. They see Baron. They have an avenue uh, around their side, around the Hexec portal as well. They have a river river ward. For what vision is he walking up? Like that is, I don't know. That's really greedy. And you know, G two have been uh, of a recall timer at this point. So I think this is a, just a mistake for for Vulcan. And G two is maybe predictably, maybe luckily in in the right spot. I would say. Vulcan can actually expect G2 to be here because yes, they were on a recall timer or on the reset, but at this point in the game, you go uh, Baron Vision and reset, then the enemy team gets Baron Vision and so on and so on. So this is like this like tennis game there. So you like you know that it's now G2's time to move into the area and con or control the vision or like fight back the vision. And with no one like backing you up, I I don't think this is the play. So. Is this me just being negative again? Or is this like a well mind controlled, uh, like forced mistake by G2? And I'm talking about this move from Vulcan. I'm not talking about this really nice execution there in this team fight from Flacket and Broken Blade. Um, questionable uh, what like EG should be doing at that point, right? They obviously get clapped by this team fight come from G2. And you can always expect G2 to do that job, right? consistency and like no like over fancy over stressful plays has been their like bread and butter so far they have been not playing for fun and uh, yeah I, I believe like now with the uh, added advantage of this uh, baron buff like impact can't even split push anymore oh targamas that was not it oh and on old also not it uh, eg might be able to outplay this sure they're still down in gold and in in terms of comp identity but many cooldowns blown for g2 but I, I i guess still too much inspired's gone here impact no impact f then he also no mana or like not enough oh he gets then yeah yeah well played or like well punished from g2 and I, like again from uh, what i've seen in this game g2 they're really clean like they are not doing anything needlessly. They are just like doing their job. They're just doing what uh, is needed to do. And I think that is a highly useful skill that like, you can trust in your ability and your trust in you, the comp you drafted to be able to uh, work out in any game stage and that you have the ability to play your champions accordingly. I, I think that is a great skill. And uh, yeah, so far, Impact versus Broken Blade, I, I again would say that we can't see much uh, in terms of the 1v1 so far. Obviously, uh, not really 1v1 focused matchup. But uh, yeah, Broken Blade again performing very well on tanks, which is not something we have seen over his career and just in recent times. Um, but overall, yeah, G2 moving up to 3 and 0, staying at the top of the table so far. And yeah, excited to what we see from them and obviously T1 today and then the rest of the Rumble stage. Stay tuned for that. See you then.